Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com. Now here I am uh, taking off uh, this morning, as a matter of fact. Uh, I had several uh, questions on what I thought about the Yagi uh, signal extenders. And uh, so I thought, well, I'll buy me some. I got them for 20 bucks off of, uh, I got the RC Geek ones off of, uh, off of Amazon. And so um, I'm testing them out for the first time. And um, I'm going to uh, just go up to 100 feet and uh, see if it, how it compares to other flights I've made at 100 feet. And usually I stay at low altitudes when I run a test because uh, I normally fly at low altitudes and I just want to know uh, the difference between the two. So here I'm going to head down my street, as always, <laughs> if you've watched into my videos, and out into that vacant lot. And um, a Yagi antenna is kind of like a shotgun. Uh, it concentrates all of the energy in a straight line. Everything off to the side is very, very weak, but uh, the signal is concentrated the way that the antenna is designed. I used one in amateur radio, and uh, I could use with my little 5-watt handheld connected to a Yagi antenna, I could connect to a, a, a repeater 50 miles away and talk to all kinds of people uh, <laughs> in a big network. So as I come out here with my uh, drone, my Mavic Mini, right about here is where I normally start to have a signal breakup. So uh, at this point in time, I can say definitely the Yagi uh, 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 signal uh, extenders uh, are actually working. They actually boost the signal because they concentrate it. Like I say, it's like a shotgun headed out the other direction. Only problem is the guy at the other end still has, uh, this, if he's using a regular antenna like our drone is, okay, now watch what's going on here. I'm starting to lose signal because I moved the shotgun off of the drone. I didn't have it aimed right at the drone. And so um, uh, he's, I still have contact in it with the drone, but uh, it's beginning to be really marginal because if I just move the shotgun a little bit, then uh, the drone doesn't have any signal from the controller. And that is dangerous. Especially, as you'll see pretty soon here, I had some strong winds come up that morning. Now, if you notice that 80016, uh, I looked, some, looked up some uh, information on that. And uh, one guy with his Mavic Mini got that error, and he never got his drone back. And he may have been in a strong wind or something. Because after uh, pretty, sec pretty soon here, you'll see where it's getting so weak. And it's beyond, way beyond the normal range of the antennas. So there, it's totally lost the signal from the controller, and it says 11 seconds after that, it's going to automatically return to home. It's a fail-safe return to home. So as long as there's not a strong wind, it will return, it'll start heading back to, uh, to home. And so pretty soon, I'll pick up the signal again here, and there's my strong wind warning. Gen generally in the morning, we don't have a wind. But it's coming back now, and you can see that uh, the signal being sent to me from the drone is not any stronger than normal. And like I said, this is about where I, I lose signal. So uh, if you, if you want to know my opinion of the Yagi antenna, sure, it'll boost signal. But you have to be real careful because with your little Mavic Mini, uh, if it gets out of range and can't do a return home, um, because of wind or any other obstructions, uh, you might just lose your little Mavic Mini. So that's my opinion. Now, I also have a video, and I'll put a link to it, on using the range extenders that are parabolic in shape. Uh, <clears throat> the range extenders that are parabolic are not as strongly directional. And uh, in that video, I show that with my little test, you could get a little bit more range. But the problem uh, with the Yagi antenna is, yeah, you boost your signal headed towards the drone, but the drone's signal is st still inversely proportional to the square of the distance. And so 
Uh, it's like the video I put up on the apple pie. Uh, we're, the drone gets further away, we get a smaller and smaller piece of his signal uh, because he doesn't have a Yagi antenna. He's not boosting out a stronger signal. So it's a one-way connection and uh, it's not what I, as a, as a radio amateur, <laughs> in some experience I've had, uh, I don't think I'll be using it for my Mavic Mini. Now, the Mavic Mini, I will never get rid of it because I love it. And it's good for what we're doing right here. You can fly around uh, in close range, get pictures of uh, videos, uh, pictures and videos of things that you want to see. Now, this wall, this concrete uh, block wall, has been, uh, it fell down months ago. And uh, they've been trying to get it put back together and there's a lawsuit and all this kind of stuff. So finally, they're getting it put back together. But uh, I, as I said, my opinion of the Yagi for the 5.8, uh, I'm not sure about it. Now I've also ordered, because of the questions I've had, I've also ordered some uh, an, a Yagi uh, 2.4 gigahertz antenna. Uh, so uh, when it comes, <laughs> hopefully I can get into the 2.4 gigahertz range with my Mavic Mini and uh, we'll see if that works. But like I said, if anybody has comments on why it, my Mavic Mini is stuck on 5.8 gigahertz, uh, I, I would appreciate it. Uh, I know one other person commented to me about his having troubles. So uh, the Mavic Mini is a great, a great drone. And it's, it's maybe a couple steps above a toy, but compared to the Mavic 2 or the Mavic Air 2, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's not in the same class. So don't expect your Mavic Mini to be uh, used for long range uh, flights because that's not what it's designed for. It's designed so you don't have to uh, have it registered with the FAA, which means they had to leave out a lot of extra things that the other drones have. So um, as I head back home, uh, with my Yagi antennas connected up. Uh, everything's working fine because I'm not way out of range. And uh, so that's my opinion and it's free, but uh, I wouldn't recommend spending $20 again on, uh, on the Yagi antenna because uh, it, could, it, it could cause more problems than I think it's worth. So I wanna thank you for watching and God bless.